Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use GDB to zero in on crashing problems. So first, let's demonstrate the program as it works. Uh, I'm hitting Control Z. I'm hitting Control Z, and I'm going to compile. It'll take a while. Uh, G++, because this is a C++ file in there. So uh, you may have to debug, you have to have the dash little g option, and then uh, your source code f3a.s. So let's compile that. This is the program that uh, a function call creates a uh, struct dynamically and then fills in its members. This is taking a long time because I'm on an M1 Mac and uh, the virtual machine is uh, running an Intel code. So there you have it. Okay, so the program runs correctly. Now I'm going to introduce a bug. This is pound uh, percent one for job one. Uh, this is VI. I'm in split, me split screen mode and I need to be in the other window. Uh, on this line here, after the malloc, when malloc returns, of course, the return value of malloc is in X0. And as you see on lines 11 and 13 and 15 and 17, uh, X0 is being dereferenced. Uh, so I can cause a crash for sure if I... Uh, zero out x0 so that uh, the uh, dynamically allocated memory space for the structure is wiped out and um, on those other lines where I dereference x0 it's going to be dereferencing a null pointer. Write that out, control Z, build it again Now, uh, when it runs and crashes, it's configured currently to produce a core file. And I'll show you how to do that, but it's already turned on here. So let me run it. And segmentation fault. Uh, let me see if there is a core file. There is not. Good. So I get to show you how to turn it on. So you limit for core files dash C and unlimited. Let's crash again. This time it actually dumped core. If you do an LS you'll see that there's a core file. So now let me start up GDB and you give it the, the executable to debug and give it the core file and watch what happens. It'll have to, you will have to wait for a bit. Just wait. Look at that. GDB actually started on the line that caused the crash. Okay? So you can print, for example, uh, print dollar uh, $x0. And you say, oh my gosh, it's a null pointer. Uh, something else to look at. BT is a backtrace. And number zero is frame zero, and that's F3. That's where I am right now. So if I list, it's going to give me the lines around the line that I'm on right now, which is 11. That's where it crashed. But if I were to say... Uh, frame one, then I'm on the line that called F3. Okay, so let's look at the trace again. So on line 24 of main, which is in main, I called F3, but frame zero is in F3. 
you can see all registers at once uh, info registers and that's the contents of all of the registers uh, you quit GDB by uh, using QUIT you can also rerun your command uh, actually let me show you uh, let me show you doing that so um, uh, I'm gonna set a breakpoint at my strlen uh, whoops uh, oh well so I'll set a breakpoint at main I know that exists now I'm gonna run the program again so this is a fresh run and uh, now I will uh, single step into uh, F3 uh, single step single step this is a call to malloc so you don't want a single step here instead you want to use the N key for next to skip over now let's take a look at what the current contents is of X0 dollar X0 and you see that that is a, uh, a big number. Let's try this, p slash x for dollar x0. So now it's printed in hexadecimal. I'm going to step forward, step forward again, and step forward again, and <laughs> So this really should give you a heads up for debugging. Okay, bye-bye.